In this video, I'm going to tell you how to defeat the Frog Prince in the first quest in Hearts of Stones DLC of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This is the toughest boss in all of The Witcher 3. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. My name is Linus Wilson. We do tips and tricks videos for The Witcher 3 and cover other medieval fantasy TV shows such as The Witcher and Vikings. In this video, I'm going to give you the tips to beat this the toughest boss in The Witcher 3. The Frog Prince poses several challenges and he has a lot of hit points. Number one, he jumps in the air, so it's harder to hit him. And when he comes down, he get, does a lot of damage. He also poisons you. Uh, and I'll show you how you can defeat him, even if you don't have the absolute best gear. Number one, the one thing you want to have before you start Hearts of Stone, before you start the first quest, Evil's Soft First Touches, is you want to brew Golden Oriole. Preferably, you'll want to brew Superior Golden Oriole but you'll at least want to have Golden Oriole because he will poison you and that will make it much harder and you will have to reload many more times if you don't have Golden Oriole. If you do have it, you got to make sure you down it. The other thing is that you really need to use the roll button with the Frog Prince. If you stay on the edges of the the his lair, then he's not going to jump on you. He he might get uh, you with his tongue, but he's not going to jump on you and do the most damage. Third thing you want to do is you would like to have um, northern wind bombs, the freeze bombs. So if you have the northern wind bombs, you use that to freeze him, and you can do double the damage you could, and you'll get in two or three more hits before he starts jumping again. Uh, versus not having the freeze bombs. I tried the uh, fire bombs. Uh, the fire bombs may stop him a little bit. Uh, the salmon bombs, the, the light bombs, don't stop him at all. Uh, but using the northern wind bombs will make the fight go a lot quicker. And then uh, on the sides, you can use your rolling ability to stay away for, from him for a long time. And so if he does get a hit in you and you're almost dead or you're one hit from being dead, uh, then you can regenerate with your Swallow or your uh, White Rafford's decoction. Uh, this is definitely a fight that I would go in with kind of a low toxicity level because you're going to need that all your... Uh, swallows you're going to need all your white raffords decoctions and of course if you have those at the superior level that's great otherwise you can roll and eat so uh, you can roll and eat and you will regenerate uh, your health back from a hit so if you get hit go to the sides keep rolling around the sides keep moving uh, until you regenerate your health again and you can take another hit. And of course, don't go in without a Quen. Uh, so one of the things is that, you know, a, a lot of people emphasize with fights in The Witcher 3 is that you, uh, if you roll, you don't regenerate your stamina as quickly. That is true, but you do move a lot faster and a dodge will not help you uh, with the Frog Prince. He's just too big. Uh, the, the amount of damage he can do in the area, he's going to he's gonna jump on you with the dodge. Uh, but with the roll, you can roll out of the way, and you can move faster rolling in fight sequences than you can run. The other thing that you saw me ex exploit is that you can always go to your inventory panel in the fight, regardless of what difficulty level you're on. I'm on Death March here. That you can go in your inventory level and re-up your potions if you get your toxicity goes too high you can drink a white honey and then re-up all the potions that you do not have in quick slots now the ones in quick slots you can only drink them when you are outside your inventory panel but the ones that you don't have in quick slots uh, you can re-up them so if your toxicity does go too high and you would like to be able to drink some swallows or white raffords uh, then you can take a white honey. The other thing is this uh, frog 
is a cursed one. So you want to have cursed oil, right? So if you have superior cursed oil, you're going to do 50% more hit damage on him. So put the cursed oil on your silver sword when you're fighting him. So I think the first time I fought him, I, you know, I must have died a dozen times at least. Uh, but the the first time I fought him, it was on the easiest level, just the story. This time it's on Death March, and it only took me two reloads. Uh, that I, I the third time I beat him, and you can beat him on the first time if you employ these strategies, because I'm sure you can implement it even better than I can. Check out our video about the top five swords in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Subscribe. We could really use some more subscribers. We don't make any money for these videos until we hit a thousand subscribers. I guarantee you, YouTube won't s spam you with notifications if you just subscribe. But if you want to see our videos, smash that notification button. Let me know what your strategies were with the Frog Prince. Did you use Yurden traps? Did that help to keep him from moving? Put those down in the comments.